Welcome back guys. In this quick tutorial, I want to share with you how to unlock true cinematic motion blur in After Effects and how the default motion blur in After Effects is as used to it as we've gotten is actually super janky and you should just never use it again. All right, so to give credit where credit's due, right before Andrew Kramer kicked me off the couch when we filmed VFX Artist React, he pulled us all aside and he was like, hey, let me show you guys something cool. And he just pulled this out of his back pocket and it blew our minds. And it was this motion blur tutorial. So shout outs to the king for keeping us all employed. And big thanks to today's sponsor for this video is Skillshare. If you guys want to learn more about how to get two free months of Skillshare for free, stick around to the end. So what's the main difference between in-camera motion blur and After Effects default motion blur? Let me demonstrate for you guys real quick. So um, right now I'm at a 320 shutter speed, which means there's not much motion blur. So if I swipe fast enough, I might be able to get a motion blur streak. And you can see that in the streak, the brightness level is maintained from the start all the way to the finish, okay? But if I were to do it in After Effects and apply like real smart motion blur or force motion blur, it's totally gonna wash out that highlight streak. And it's going to stop us from creating shots that look realistic, that look like they were shot in camera. This, this tip is actually super easy. It's very simple. Let's hop into After Effects and figure it out. Hey, if you guys are enjoying these educational VFX videos, I'd love to ask you a favor. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. What do you guys want to learn next? I have a lot of fun putting these together. And if you guys aren't subscribed already, then definitely do so. I got a lot of really cool stuff coming out, a surface imperfections tutorial where we're actually going to make our own surface imperfections from scratch. It's gonna be a lot of fun, so definitely don't miss out on that. All right, so I got some pretty shaky reference footage here. My buddy Cliff on his one wheel. This is the in-camera motion blur. This is what we're trying to match in After Effects. And I shot another version of the shot with a high shutter speed, so we got no motion blur, and we want to add some. So in my case, I'm using real smart motion blur. You can use time warp, you can use uh, force motion blur, whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and check that, and you can see if we choose a correct frame here, that, yep, they're washed out, just like our example in the beginning of the video. So what we need to do to punch these highlights up, it's very simple. This is just a duplicated composition. I hadn't changed anything yet. Let's go ahead and add an exposure effect and put it above the real smart motion blur. Here's what we want to do. We just want to take the gamma correction and bring it all the way down as far as it'll go. That's 0.1. And we'll want to duplicate that effect and bring it down outside the real smart motion blur. So essentially you have these two exposure effects sandwiching your, your blur, right? Let's take that gamma correction and go all the way back up past one to 10, all right? So at this point, if I were to take a snapshot, turn off the effects here and reveal my snapshot, nothing should change. So those exposures have essentially canceled each other out, all right? But if I turn them on and then we turn on the real smart, you can see that we have those beautiful highlights preserved. If I turn the exposure effects on and off, you can see the difference. So the difference is huge. Let's take a snapshot again, turn those exposures back on and flip back and forth between the two. Yeah, so all of these highlights are preserved. It looks really nice. And if we compare it to the in-camera reference, it is not too far off actually. All right, so now let's take it to the next level. So let's say that your shot is actually pretty smooth. I, I stabilized one of these here and you wanna add some post camera shake. So it's basically the same setup. You're going to sandwich your transform effect with those two exposures and I have a pretty simple wiggle expression on the position here and that's controlling our camera shake and the exposures are saving those highlights. Again, if I turn this off, and on, you can see the difference here. Totally a huge difference in those highlights. And for some reason, when you're using the transform method here and adding post shake, um, you can still be in eight bits per channel and it'll still work just fine. I guess it's just a real smart motion blur version needs those uh, 32 bits per channel. And as a final step, if you guys wanna save this as a preset, go ahead and select all these effects from top to bottom. I'm holding shift animation, save animation preset, and save it out as whatever you want. 
just make sure that it's put in the correct folder here. I dropped it into image utilities as true motion blur and you can go ahead and select the preset and drag it onto your footage and it'll be applied so you don't have to go through all that trouble all over again. Send this video to as many effects artists as you can. They could use this tip um, so we can all elevate our game together. And shout outs to Skillshare for sponsoring this video for us. They've offered you guys two free months of Skillshare Premium for free just by clicking the link down below. If you don't know what Skillshare is, it's an online learning community for creatives like you guys who are looking to up their game. It doesn't matter if you're looking to learn Photoshop, After Effects, Cinema 4D, Blender, Unreal Engine. If you can type it into a search bar, you can learn it. So go check it out and get your learn on for less than 10 bucks a month or get it for free. The first 1,000 people who click the link down below get Skillshare Premium for free for two months. So guys, let's keep learning, let's keep elevating and growing our value together. My name is Clinton Jones. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.